I have obsessive compulsive disorder and I am your typical contamination OCD sufferer. That means that I often feel that there's germs on surfaces or that people are contaminated and that I might catch a disease or an illness from other people or just a general feeling of dirtiness or contamination. Obsessive compulsive disorder is a serious mental illness. It affects approximately 2 to 3 percent of the population and it's estimated that about 1 in 40 people suffer from OCD. It is one of the more serious of the mental illnesses as, and is one of the leading causes of disability in the world. What I used to do before I had treatment was to continuously wash my hands, take very hot long showers, avoid touching things I felt were dirty. People who have mild forms of OCD, we often recommend that they go solely into behavioral therapy, specifically a type of therapy we do called ERP, Exposure with Ritual Prevention. ERP is the only scientifically validated therapy for obsessive compulsive disorder. The therapy for OCD is very difficult, but it is very effective. And that therapy entails having people expose themselves to the triggers that they have. That process is called habituation. And as a repeated process, if you keep doing this, it does reduce the intensity and the frequency of a person's obsessions. Unfortunately, with OCD, there are a number of people who do not respond to the standard therapies. OCD is one of the few indications at this point in psychiatry for the use of neurosurgery. And one of the things that we are doing here at UPMC Hospital is initiating a program involving deep brain stimulation, otherwise known as DBS. This can be thought of as a pacemaker for the brain and what it does is to reset abnormal brain rhythms that contribute to the symptoms of a number of brain disorders, movement disorders like Parkinson's disease, but also neuropsychiatric disorders like obsessive compulsive disorder. And in general, patients that get deep brain stimulation have failed medical management, so they've reached the point where medications are not working to control their symptoms or there are side effects from medications which aren't tolerable. The goal for any deep brain simulation procedure, regardless of the disease it's being treated, is to improve the patient's quality of life. There are plenty of providers in this region who can help people with OCD, and I would encourage people with OCD not to suffer in silence, but to go ahead and tell their doctors that they would like treatment for what is going on and what is a significant problem and issue in their lives. There is hope for everybody, and there is help out there. Maybe one thing won't work for one person, but it will work for another, and you just have to keep trying.